Welcome to worship, wherever we find you today. Good to see you, and thanks for dropping by. It's an honor to lead worship here today and join you in this special day. My name is Eric Woodrow. I'm a chaplain with Wesley Mission Queensland. Callan Bennett and is going to assist me in leading worship. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is the light of the world and in him there is no darkness. Our call to worship. The Lord is a safe house for the oppressed and a stronghold in times of trouble and distress. Why are you afraid? Where is your faith? Jesus says, peace be still. Sing praises, you who dwell in him. Tell everyone what he can do in our lives. In the storms, he is there with us. In the midst of life's storms, God is there. What do we have to fear? In darkness and in terror, God is with us. Of whom shall we be afraid? People of God, you are loved and saved. Let's join together and sing the hymn, Just As I Am. Stay.
Let us now come to God with our prayers of adoration and confession. You are invited to respond with the words in red during the prayer of confession. Let us pray. Christ, calmer of fear and pacifier of storms, quiet in our minds, soothe our emotions and allay our concerns. Ease us into a sense of awe at God's grace, a sense of peace in God's presence and a sense of security in God's purpose. God, keeper of the stronghold of the weak, champion of the oppressed, disturb our hearts, challenge our attitudes, prompt us to action, spur us into renewed vitality of your grace and a renewed wonder in your presence. Amen. And so, God, who hears the cries of your people, we pray that you will hear the cries of our hearts as we confess our shortcomings to you. For the times when we allow the storms of life to overwhelm us and we fail to trust you. Instead, we wonder if you even care for us. Forgive Forgive us, us, O O God. God. When we fail to see you at work within our lives and think that we have to do everything in our own strength, forgive Forgive us, us, O O God. God. When we look around our world and see all the pain, suffering, hunger, wars, violence and natural disasters and we begin to lose faith in you, Forgive us, O God. God. When we see others in pain or fear and do not bring your word of grace and peace to them, forgive forgive us, us, O O God. God. O God, when we are unable to understand the things that happen, when we are weighed down by all that is happening around us, may we know that you are upholding us Give us the assurance of your constant care that we may have the courage to meet the days ahead. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And as Christ rebuked the wind and the wave and said, Peace, be still, so does he offer that same calm and peace to us. Sin has no power over us. In Christ, we have the victory. Our sins are are forgiven. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. We sing together Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see twas grace that sought my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved
Receiving God's Word The Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41 On that day, when the evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose and waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe, and said to one another, who is this then? Even the wind and the sea obey him. In this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'd like to share a message with you from the Gospel of Mark. When I read that Gospel reading today, it brought back memories of growing up and holidays on the Sunshine Coast. We'd spend our afternoons sailing. On one particular day, it was a beautiful day. What could possibly go wrong? But then, the unexpected happened. A storm rolled in from the west, and we were still a long way from home. Winds raised, stress levels raised. We were scared. Turned around and came back into shore. But the storm was developing quickly and the colour of the clouds showed that there was going to be thunder and lightning. Not good for a sailing boat with a tall steel mast that could act as a giant lightning conductor. The wind began to whip up the waves and we were scared. I remember praying to God that we would get back to shore safely and to the relief of everyone, we did. We got back to shore just before the storm hit. Just like on that day, in our Gospel reading, we hear that Jesus and the disciples get caught in a fierce storm on the Sea of Galilee. The Sea of Galilee is famous for storms quickly arriving and causing destruction. Let me set the scene for you. Jesus had spent a long day with his disciples teaching on the shore. It had been exhausting and there had been large crowds it was late in the day, and so Jesus says to the disciples, let's go across to the other side of the lake. Jesus' plan was to spread the good news of the kingdom to everyone, so he kept on the move. So Jesus and the disciples got in the boat and went across to the other side. We're told that Jesus fell asleep, asleep in the boat, and someone had been kind enough to supply a cushion. He must have felt fast asleep. Like us, he needed his sleep at the end of a long day. Just then, a fierce storm hit, which can quickly occur on that lake. It was so bad that the water was coming into the boat and the disciples thought that they were going to drown. 
The disciples probably wondered how on earth Jesus could continue sleeping during the storm. Jesus must have trusted them, or maybe he was just letting things work out so they could fend for themselves. The disciples wake Jesus and question him. Don't you care we're perishing? That's an interesting question. When we're full of fear, sometimes we can say the silliest things. I know, I've been in that situation. It looks like another teaching moment that Mark is recording. So what are we going to learn? Firstly, Jesus deals with the fears and responds to their questioning by rebuking the wind and calming the waves with the words, peace, be still. The wind stops, the waves become calm and he removes all obstacles from teaching and he starts to teach. Jesus wasn't afraid of the storm. His trust was in the Father to protect him and he shows us a model of how we should act and think when we are in our storms in our life. Then Jesus questions the disciples. Why are you afraid? Have you no faith? Jesus had been with his disciples for some time. They had witnessed miracles and lived with him for years, yet they still did not seem to understand who Jesus is. After seeing the miracle of the calming of the storms, The disciples were maybe even more afraid and wondered at who Jesus was, that even the wind and the sea would respond to his command. In our reading, we see two types of fear. When the storm came, they were afraid of the danger. And when Jesus calmed the storm, they had a healthy fear of Jesus' power over nature. The good news, this is the good news. Jesus can be trusted when we are afraid in every type of fear and in all aspects of our life. In the storms of our life, sometimes we can question things. Sometimes storms like the COVID storm can seem overwhelming and they can come up unexpectedly like the storm the disciples experienced. This story we have heard today is reminding us that when we're experiencing the storms of life, Jesus is there with us in the boat, in our midst, never leaving us, always calm. He is our peace and Jesus knows what's going on. Jesus wants us to trust him and have faith in him in the storms of our life that we all experience. Faith in God changes our whole outlook on life and brings us to a place that we could not get to by ourselves for we have the power of the Holy Spirit with us. So in the inevitable storms of life, in life's journey, let us have faith and trust in Jesus. Let us know in our hearts that Jesus is always with us and that our lives will show this and glorify God, the only wise God, our Saviour, in the midst of every life's storm. Amen. Let's sing together, Be Still for the Presence of the Lord.
still for the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Be still for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor. Bring to God our prayers of the people. Let us pray. Compassionate God, today we remember those who suffer and are afraid in the storms of life. We think of those who are in places of war and terrorism or who wait in dread for wars which they believe may happen. O oh God, we know that we may not announce peace when there is no peace. But we pray that peace will come to all people, peace which is won through reconciling acts and peace which is given as a gift into the lives of all concerned. Then, loving God, we remember those who long for peace in relationships within our own community. We think of those who live in fear of prejudice and racism. Recreate our life together that through reconciliation, justice and kindness, just as you give peace to us, we may offer peace to each other. Compassionate God, we pray for all those in Wesley Mission Queensland communities, their families, the staff, the volunteers, that they may all be aware wherever the journey they are on, they are not alone, that you are with them. Dear God, we pray for ourselves. You know what lies within each of our lives. You know the stresses and storms which bring us fear. Calm our troubled hearts, we pray. Fill our souls with faith for the future, O God, and give to us your peace, which passes human understanding. Amen. Let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We join in singing together, Take my life and let it be.
May your faith be active, may your hope be active, and may your love be active. I'd like to share with you a song I've written, and I would like to sing it to you, and then we'll sing it through a second time, and the words will appear, and you're welcome to join with me. It's called, As We Leave This Place. As we leave this place We are not alone Holy Spirit is our guide Always by our side We're never alone Never long, never long. We're never long, never long, never long. As we leave this place. We are not alone Holy Spirit is our guide Always by our side We're never alone Never alone Never alone we're never long, never long, never long. So go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.